This is Jefferson Close-Up. I'm Carol Celine. My guest today is Dr. Chris Farrell. Welcome. Hi, thanks for having me. You told me uh, that when you were a kid, you played a lot of sports, and you kind of grew up into the ultimate sports fan, and that has created an unbreakable ritual for you. What is that? Uh, you know, pretty much no matter where I am in the country, in the world, I start every morning looking at my Philadelphia sports scores. I'm not doing anything until I know if the Sixers won, if the, you know, how the Phillies are doing. Um, so that's, that's, that's my first thing every morning. I even named my, my dog is named after Allen Iverson. <laughs> really? Uh, What's his name? Uh, her name, her is, name is Allie. Oh, Allie. So. <laughs> cute, cute. What would you say is one of your positive traits in dealing with patients? Well, hopefully I have more than one positive trait, but <laughs> I think the thing that, that serves me best, especially in, in the kind of work that I do, is that you know, I have a lot of empathy for, for what people mm -hmm. are going through. It's, you know, it's, it's a tough road, but I think if, if they know their doctor is, you know, cares about them, is on board with, with, their, with their treatment, then mm -hmm. the relationship is just a much better one. And I think mm -hmm. that's, that's something that it served me well. You told me that the hardest decision you ever made was choosing neurosurgery over an easier specialty. What influenced you? Well, certainly, there certainly are easier routes. My, my wife sometimes wishes I'd taken that, one of those easier <laughs> routes. Um, but you know, for me, the, it, neurosurgery still has so much that needs to be done. There's, there, are, there are ways that we can make this better, there are ways that, that, you know, there are new discoveries to be made, and I, I wanted to be part of that, that frontier. I didn't want to go in and do the same thing every day. I wanted to every day work to get better. Yeah, I, I was very surprised when you were telling me that unlike um, a lot of other kinds of surgery, if there's a tumor in the brain, the doctor has to choose which is the best path. Every doctor may not choose the same path. You know, this is why it's good to talk to several different physicians. You know, getting a second opinion is never a bad thing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one, one surgeon may feel that something's inoperable, another may feel it's operable. One surgeon may think there's, there's only one way to go after it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and, you know, for me, I think that all that extra training has, has given me option. Because this is what I think about all day and night, mm -hmm. I think we've come up with very imaginative ways to to get to the tumor safely, but also do, at the end of the day, you have to do the job. And that's what, you know, whatever route you take, you have to get the tumor out. And, you know, that's yeah. what we really spend, you know, most of the time doing. So it's sort of like a maze in many ways that you can go through it to get to the place where you want to end up. Exactly. When you're dealing you with something it. that's right huh. in the center yeah. of the, the skull huh. base, you can come from a lot of different directions. Fascinating. But, Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, no problem. Thanks for having me. Thank you.